once made? The six pages of our version of Solo, we are ready for a performance with Solo, N19, of Apesoft. After giving a tap on the icon of Solo, appears immediately screen interface Solo, a refresh and the center button prepares the start position. The power button is automatically set in the standby mode, standby. However, if it is given another tap on the power button, the algorithm switches in the off mode and the center button, it automatically goes into the position DSP is off, the algorithm is now off. To restore the default settings, tap on the button, at this point you open the toggle. Here you can choose whether, or not, a reset of the live performance, with the exception of Drawart which remains open. At the bottom of user's manual shows the default settings. The choice of the signal is accomplished via the buttons. You can choose the type of input signal you want to import. Demo for the file, MP3, demo, or, mic ABIAA for the microphone signal. Moving from demo mode to mode mic, or vice versa, from mic to demo, algorithm adjusts itself on form scheme I, cycle A. Mode mic ABIAA now choose the form scheme, version, to activate, from I to 6, by tapping the buttonhole. Lights the button with the form scheme, version, chosen and it shows the duration in minutes and seconds. In setting phase is also possible to decide to start the execution from the beginning of a given cycle of a piece, A, B, C, D, E, F. With a tap on the button corresponding to the desired cycle as well as to start the execution of the shown cycle, is the time value of the cycle duration, in seconds. This feature is especially useful in the study phase to avoid having to repeat the whole piece again. Changing the form scheme, version, algorithm automatically adjusts itself on cycle A. If the values specified in the string of beats, set by default, do not meet the personal music choices. With the algorithm we set the value on number of beats per period selected in each of the six cycles, with the help of the keys to decrease increase the number of beats. The BPM value is calculated and displayed automatically. Remember that in the original paper score the beats are indicated by dashed vertical lines that run through all staves, each staff is a period, of the page and each page is a cycle. In addition, the interpreter has provided another valuable tool primarily used in the study phase, when, while wanting to keep the same number of beats per period, he wishes to study the piece to a different speed. It is the button, where tapping on a regular basis at least two-thirds times the speed you choose, you can set the desired value of BPM on the current cycle and in all remaining cycles. Now the selected value appears next to TAP. To reset the BPM value to the situation before a tap on. Perforations. To activate the perforations, a tap on is a toggle that gives us the ability to enable on or not activated off perforations provided in form scheme you want to perform. Inside the toggle is also possible to establish the perforation time of the first and second assistant. While the number of perforations to be made for each period is set by default based on the form scheme, the action time ad libitum of perforations, within the period, is calculated randomly and it is always different for each performance. To set the value of countdown cheaper, not more than a countdown before the start of the performance, we go into settings. and we set the numerical value expressed in beats with the button's increment decrement. The speed of execution of the countdown is aligned with that of the BPM of the cycle that we are going to perform. The default is 5 seconds.
activate the execution. With a tap on the start button starts the countdown, with decreasing numerical values that appear within the button itself. Over which the algorithm is to perform reactions on the active input, demo or mic, based on the chosen form scheme. The button is now in the STOP position. To turn a tap on and the STOP, appears this message. Controls useful to one man performance. Metronomes and controls. In the lower left of the graphical solo, N19, are displayed in two tests. Before pressing the start key, the first informs us about the number of periods, cycle within the current and the current form scheme, while the second is waiting to scan the time value of the instantaneous current period. After the start the first scans the number of the current period on the total of periods, while the second times the time value of current period. Running in this space is also shown the first metronome, orange, that lights marking the beginning of each period. After the start space in the lower right is displayed the second metronome, white, that lights marking the beats of the current period. Cycles and Amp Periods Progression, the interface, bottom, is also equipped with two meters that display in a linear manner, scrolling from left to right, the passage of time the current period, in blue. At the end of the race the color of display changes, yellow, warning us of the impending end of the current period, and similarly, of current cycle, in purple, also this meter at the end of the race will change color, orange, warning us of the impending end of the current cycle. At the center, bottom, are the sliders assistance. MIC, Assistant 1, Feedback, Assistant 2, Playback, Assistant 3, Delay, Assistant 4, 6 sliders for the first 3 assistants, 1 per channel, and 1 slider for the 4th assistant. The last slider to the right, Delay, Assistant 4, marks the value in seconds of the delay line tap in use. In the interface we also have the ability to Increase the mic input with input gain. Bypass a certain amount of the input signal direct the output with monitor gain. Increase the output signal with the output gain. For these three controls is also provided for the internal management of their operations, such as the example shows the monitor gain. Generate random values for all of the parameters. Reset all default parameters, a warning message will be displayed. Remote Controls Manager for Solo, N19, Parameters, in four mapping modes. MIDI accelerometer X accelerometer Y. In the setup phase, but also after the start, you can lock and lock the three controls, input gain, output gain and gain monitor. The controls in the top bar, in addition to TAP and BPM, through the button. Here is how the interface locked. This feature is very useful to prevent accidental tapping, demo or mic mode. Sets the iDevice hardware volume. Check the overall level of output, L and R, through a VUMeter. In solo is given the opportunity to apply what the author calls timbres and electronic effects, and interface that go under the name of FX. With a tap on the button, opens a toggle that represents the editor for the script of the effects. Another tap on syntax to open an abstract syntax to be followed by the introduction of the effects of the FX script. Obviously the introduction of the effects has been previously determined during the development phase of his six pages. 
depending on the choice of the timbres, 1, 2, 3, and their permanence, action time and duration. FX Library, Ring Modulation Chopper Out of Range Glitch Generator Spectral Opagator Sync Granulator Schroeder Reverberation Once you have edited the FX through the script, running can observe their activations in the string. Double tap on the knobs to show the options. Edit to enter the value from the keyboard, or randomly, default reset to the factory value. You can set knobs behavior from settings. Solo can play audio in the background and or mix its own audio with other iOS apps. Solo also supports Apple IAA and Audio Bus. You can send and receive audio through applications. Captures output stereo signal, post effects, and creates an audio file WAV format 44.1 kHz 16 bit in the documents folder. Files created by Solo are composed by a name followed by a number. File Manager Read Write in App Documents You can copy and paste audio from to Audio Copy 2.0 or Dropbox. See later. File Manager can also read the built-in files, but you cannot rename them or delete them. Tap over file name in the list to show actions. Thus is possible load file in one of two samplers copy audio in Audio Copy 2.0 Clipboard or Dropbox Upload. Open in is a special action which will show you a poop over menu with other options, this depends on the installed applications, how you can manage selected files or audio files. Download files from Dropbox, you will need a Dropbox account. You can log in or log out from the settings menu. You can edit the file manager contents for deletion NB. This is a destructive action. You can rename files in documents folder, if you omit the file extension Solo will fill the original audio file extension for you. NB File Manager shows only audio files supported, the other files in Documents folder will not be seen. Paste audio file from Audio Copy 2.0 Clipboard. Starts audio capture from the microphone immediately and save new stereo audio file in WAV format 44.1 kHz, 16 bit in the Documents folder. Files created by Solo are composed by a name followed by a number. Access to the iPod library, this allows the application to read, users songs, audiobooks, and audio podcasts.